36, 10, 50. I'll be on Oak. Stand by for the number. Stay in your car, ma'am. Okay. I live here. Okay. So stay in your car for me. That's all. I need to see your driver's license, insurance, and registration. Yes, sir. You didn't stop for the stop sign back there. Oh, I... It's a very dangerous intersection. Thank you. I need the registration and the insurance card, please. I work here, sir. You work here? Yes, sir. I take care of the two doctors' mother. Okay. Dr. Kellogg's mother. Well, I understand that, but you're driving through stop signs. We can't have that. You're going to get yourself hurt by doing that. So, where do you live? I, um... Just stay in your car oh, for me. I'm That's sorry. okay. That's all right. You don't have to get out. Sorry. That's okay. Um, I live in Irvington, but the, the sons, them give me... Because I used to do live in here with her, so they tell me I could put my license here. You could put your license so here. I never change it yet since I'm not doing the living, but I'm going. How long to have you been? How long have you been living? More than a year. I work with Mrs. Kellogg. Right, but how long have you been living somewhere else? Um, I was living there when I get the job here because I was working at Lincoln Park. That's what happened, sir. But I didn't change it yet. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. How long ago did you move? Is my point. More than a year. Okay, you know you're supposed to do that within the first couple months, correct? No, more than a year. I am here. Right, but you don't live here, is what you're saying. I, 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 I work here seven days a week with Mrs. Kayla. Correct, but what I'm saying is you don't live here. You go home at night, correct, Sometime after work? I go home. All right, stay in the car, please. 36, okay. Okay, here's the situation, okay? What I'm giving you a summons for is for, this isn't your primary residence. Okay, your other residence is, but what this is, is this is a zero point ticket, it's $26. That would be well, a... Officer, you okay. could do it or give me that, sir. Well, I could give you the stop sign. That's points, and that's an $85 fine. So you're getting a break here, you understand that. Okay, if you try to come to court, too, and explain to the judge all right, you about this address, then I'm going to advise the judge about the stop sign, and you'll get a, st a stop sign ticket then, okay? So you're getting a break here, you understand that? You can't be driving like you did through that intersection. You're... I didn't break, I didn't hear? Maybe you didn't stop, it's called a stop sign. All right, I don't want to... Okay, we have problems there, we don't want people to get hurt, we have children that walk there, okay? We don't want you getting hurt also. So here's the deal, it's a $26 fine, no points. So you're getting a big break here. All you gotta do is mail it in to this address. If you do have any questions, there's a telephone number, you can just call that number, okay? So be careful in the future, please, and get the address updated to where I'm your primary here. residence. I'm here yeah, I know, most but it's your, of the this, time. I know, but this is not where your primary residence is. You might work here most of the time because of that. I understand that, but it's not your primary residence. That needs to be changed, and you said you didn't change it yet. All right. Okay. All right. You to be careful, please. Okay. So where do I pay this ticket? You could mail it into the address up right up top, right here. There you go. Just mail it to that address. Okay. Twenty-six dollars. No points. Take care.